guys, and welcome to the, um, which one's this? The Christmas tag. There's a bunch of these floating around. This one is from Rachel Capius. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I'm not sure if she's the original author of it or not, but it's where I got it from, so doing it. But yeah, so there are eight questions on this. Should be fairly quick. I apologize for being out of breath. Like, right before I started filming this, I got an eBay notification saying that I had a package in my mailbox I just as of two hours ago. Our mail came hours and hours ago, so I was like, wait, but I already got the mail. So I went and ran up, even though it's totally freaking dark outside, and I am scared shitless of the dark. So I ran like a mofo coming back down the driveway, because we have a long, scary, dark driveway, and I don't like it one bit. And I was literally yelling, I don't fucking like the dark, I don't fucking like the dark, the whole way down the driveway, no joke. So I am still kind of adrenaline rush calming down from that. So, anyway, um, <laughs> moving along now with, um, with the tag. If any of you guys want to do it, feel free. I invite you to take part in it. But yeah, I, I generally don't try to name names for who to tag. I just throw it out there of, if you want to do it, do it. If you don't, don't. It's all good. So anyway, question number one. Use one noise to describe how excited you are for Christmas. You sure you want me to do this? <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, I should not have done that. Uh, <laughs> question number two. What's the best present you've ever been given and why? Hmm. It's kind of a tricky one since, like, my knee-jerk reaction wants to say the Christmas where literally everything I got was, like, a Beatles thing. But that's not a single gift, is it? So, hmm. Single gift. Single gift. Oh, I know. Okay, so this one, actually, um, it's kind of interesting, the circumstances of what surrounded it, but I pro you guys probably don't care, so I'm not gonna bore you through all of it. But basically, um, I forget if it was, like, four years ago, I want to say, maybe? Wait, yeah, 2016. Four or five years ago, somewhere right in there, um, it was after the Lies of the Palace DVD had come out and everything. Maybe it was even longer ago than that. Oh my god, I feel old. Um, anyway, so, as you know, I went and saw Lies of the Palace a crap ton of times, um, and spent a ridiculous amount of money doing so, and it just, it was absolutely ridiculous. The hoops I jumped through to try and meet that woman and always missed her by literally this much. But I got to know literally every single member of her entourage really, really well. And um, all of them were really pulling for me to meet her and it just did not happen. Um, but, but, one of them, after um, the DVD had been filmed like a year or two after that, made a point of getting her to autograph a copy of it for me, personalized with my name, and mailed it to me. So I'm pretty sure that qualifies as the best Christmas present I ever got. Just saying. So anyway, yes, I still have it. Ironically, I now have three copies of that DVD because I bought one as soon as it came out for myself, and Kimberly temporarily had been really into it. I think just because of all the hype that I had built up around it, so she wanted to somehow be involved in it, so I got her a copy, but then she outgrew it, so I took it back. And then there's the autographed copy, so... <sighs> Goodness. Anyway, so, um... Alright. Number three. What's the worst present you've ever given, and why? Um... I would say probably nothing? And, um... I have to say, there is, like, not a worse feeling in the world than somebody has a gift for you and you're empty-handed and have nothing to give them. It is a shitty feeling. And every year it happens with at least one person and I feel like the biggest asshat on the planet. But I keep trying and keep trying to stretch my money further to try and cover as many people as I can. And it gets harder every year because there's always more nieces and nephews to buy for on top of siblings and parents and aunts and uncles and this, that, and the other. And just, it adds up real quick. I come from a real big family. So, it, yeah. It gets really, really hard trying to keep up with everybody when I'm not even traditionally employed. 
I'm self-employed. I don't have a big income. So trying to afford buying for everybody is quite the feat. So I probably came closer this year than I did any other year in my life. So that's an accomplishment, but there's still a few where it's like, oh god, I'm still last minute trying to see if there's anything I can fill in those last few gaps with, but starting to lose hope at this point. But um, anyway, number four, sing a line from your favorite Christmas song. Ah, well, I'm going to do the whole song on Christmas anyway, but the mood is right, the spirit's up, we're here tonight, and that's enough. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Yeah, that's my all-time favorite Christmas song, the Paul McCartney one. So, anytime. Anyways, um, what's your favorite Christmas film? Ooh, that's tricky because it depends how exactly you define it, and I have a lot of them. Like, if we're talking about, like, the classic ones that everyone thinks of, um, I think by default, I would have to say Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Sorry, I have an eyelash in my eye. Um, although close second would probably be Santa Claus is Coming to Town, because Fred Astaire is the narrator, and Mickey Rooney plays Santa, both of whom I adore. So I've always loved that one since I was a little kid because of that. Uh, if we are talking about anything that's just, like, Christmas-related and it is a movie, um... Well, you know, there's kind of a cult following for it at this point, so I guess I'm not the only one anymore, but, like, when I really latched onto it, I felt like I was the only person on the planet who, like, actually likes this movie. But Santa Claus the movie. No, I do not mean The Santa Claus with Tim Allen. No, 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 no. I mean the one from 1985 with Dudley Moore playing Patch the Elf. Yeah, I mean that one. Then again, Dudley Moore is my favorite actor of all time above anybody, so, um, just saying. Do I have the books right here? I might, to show what I'm talking about. If I do, I show you, but I'm not sure that I do. No, I think I put them away. Wait, 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 I do. You know. Right, wait, no, over here. Try to do it backwards. Dudley! Patch the Elf. Yes, I actually have memorabilia from this freaking film. I have the actual storybook. I have the four McDonald's books. I have the coloring book. I have the movie on DVD, on VHS. I have the soundtrack on vinyl. Um, I have lobby cards from the film, but only the ones with Dudley in them. I've got... I've, the list goes on. I could go further. I have more. But, um... Yeah, thankfully, there's... Not that many hardcore Dudley Moore fangirls in the world, so I don't have a shit ton of competition when it comes to collecting Dudley Moore anything. So the market's kind of mine on those. But anyway, um, another one that also includes Dudley that I kind of lump in just for... It's not traditionally a Christmas film in and of itself, per se, but it takes place at Christmas time, so I count it and I always watch it every year anyway. Um, would be Arthur 2 on the Rocks. Again, it's not a Christmas film in and of itself, but it does take place at Christmas time. There's a lot of Christmassy themes throughout it without technically getting labeled a Christmas film, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, so there's that. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I mean, in general, most Christmas movies like, at all that just exist, I'll watch at least once, and most of them I watch and re-watch and genuinely enjoy. Uh, there's a few that I just couldn't get into. A lot of the more modern ones I'm not into just because, I don't know, they don't have the same feel to them, but older ones, pretty much any of them you throw at me, I'll watch and love, so there's that. Um, let's see here. Show how good you are at wrapping a present. Let's not. <laughs> like, for real, can we not? I am the biggest proponent of the gift bag, because it means I don't have to wrap anything. <laughs> I am the worst person on the planet at wrapping presents. Like, you know the whole stereotype of how guys suck at wrapping presents? 
I'm even worse than guys stereotypically are. Is that the... Okay, I just freaked myself out with the glare on the door. Of... Uh, I don't even know what my brain is right now. But, um, yeah, I don't know how I always screw it up. I even screwed up just slapping a gift tag on something earlier. I managed to both wrinkle it and smear the ink. That was just with the tag. I had somebody else wrap it. All I had to do was slap it on there, and that was it. And I even screwed that up. I am hopeless. So, I like gift bags. Just wrap the stuff up in tissue paper, stick it in the bag, write the name on the tag, you're good to go. I am a big fan of the gift bag. Because <laughs> I just fail so miserably at actually wrapping presents. <laughs> like, I am the first person who will pay somebody else to wrap things for me. Um, and the funny thing is, year after year on my Etsy shop, people ask if they can pay extra to have things gift wrapped, and I'm like, dude, I will pay you to, to not do that, just because you will be mad at me if I gift wrap something for you, because it will look so terrible. Trust me on this. A preschooler could legit do a better job than I do at this. I don't know how I screwed up so bad. I don't know how. I've even watched tutorials on YouTube on how to properly do it, and I still screw it up. I don't know how. I've tried to practice. It's just, I don't know. Something doesn't click in my brain. I don't know why, but gift bags are my friend. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see here. Number seven. If you could rename one of Father Christmas's reindeer, what would you name it? I don't know. I've never really given that much thought to it. Um, trying to think of the names of the existing ones. Is there anything I would drop and improve? Hmm. Personally, you know what? Uh, I feel like they're classic. If it's not broken, don't fix it. So I'm just actually going to skip this one because I do not have a good answer for it. And I'll be here all night if, um, if left for my own devices trying to think of one. So last question. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? Ooh, that's going to be a tie uh, between the Christmas music being on all the time, tied with Christmas decorations. Lights specifically, but Christmas decorations in general I love, but... My favorites are the lights. I am the biggest sucker for them. Oh my gosh, like, I am that person who has Christmas lights up in her room year-round just because I like them. Uh, <laughs> and I was doing it before Tumblr made it a trendy thing. So, there's that. I'm that person who loves to go out and just, like, either go on a walk or go on a drive just to look at Christmas lights. No other purpose of going out other than to just go look at them. I, I thoroughly enjoy it every single year, um, but that's just me. I know other people could care less, but I freaking love them. So, but again, that's just me. So, Anyway, that is the end of the question. So again, if you, any of you guys want to do this, feel free to partake and let me know in the comments if you chose to do it and I'll watch your video where you did it. Um, I am going to leave the comments in the info box so it'll be easier for you guys to find them nice and easily, neat and tidy, so you don't have to sit here with a notepad watching the video to get all the questions because I find it obnoxious when people don't leave them in the info box. So. Anyway, as usual, if you like the video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below, and until next time, bye!